Hello viewers, welcome to Unbox, please subscribe to stay updated with all latest news on Donald Trump. According to his lawyers, the judge allowed Donald Trump's former attorney, Michael Cohen, to bring one of the former president's sons as a witness in his case against the Trump Organization. Cohen's team asked to use the testimony of Donald Trump Jr. in his case because he was an executive vice president of the Trump Organization. We want to testify that Trump Jr. Hunter Winstead, Cohen's attorney, said. Mr. Winstead told reporters that jury selection would begin on July 17. It took us four years to get to where we are, Cohen said. All I can say is I can't wait for the trial because I can't wait to be held accountable. Cohen sued the Trump Organization in 2019 because he wanted the company to pay him legal fees, up to $2.3 million, for the former president's role as the former president's personal attorney in multiple investigations of Mr. These investigations include a criminal case against him for his silence over payments to Stormy Daniels, his role in special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation, the investigation New York Attorney General's investigation into Trump Organization finances and multiple congressional investigations into Trump. In December 2022, the Trump Organization was found guilty of tax fraud. Trump received more bad news on Thursday. A federal judge ruled he could be removed from office in a lawsuit filed by former FBI agent Peter Strzok against the Justice Department. Although those currently displaced have recalled the events mentioned, their testimony does not support plaintiffs' hypothesis that the former president was involved in the pending decision in this case. The fact remains that the former president himself publicly bragged about his involvement, wrote Judge Amy Berman Jackson. The former president faces a number of pending lawsuits, including a $500 million lawsuit against Cohen for alleged breach of contract as a personal attorney. Trump was also charged with federal charges over classified Mar-a-Lago documents last month, a New York state indictment of falsifying business records for Stormy Daniels, and county indictments. Fulton, Georgia nearly interfered in the election. He was found guilty of sexual assault in a case brought by former columnist L. E. Jean Carroll. The federal investigation is also investigating events leading up to the 2020 election, which appears to include Trump's efforts to stay in power. Trump may testify in ex-FBI case, Judge says M. N. Campbell, who is the deputy director of the FBI counter-control and partially controlled the investigation of Russia's intervention in the 2016 election, filed a lawsuit against the unexpected pressure from President Trump and his political allies in the National Assembly and the media, including continuous tweets and other conflicting statements of the president, as well as direct reference documents from the total. The lawyer at that time was Jefferson and the director of the FBI FBI Christopher Wray to stop him. While the government said that Trump's public statements had nothing to do with this decision, Mr. Crossing tried to overthrow the former president as part of the discovery process. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure to press the bell icon to get notified when I upload a new video.